obfuscated JavaScript is something that you'll run into with real world malware or with CTF challenges. Um, there's been a CTF, uh, JavaScript challenge in Flare on the last few years, and uh, there's one in Flare on this year in 2024. Um, this year, I learned about a tool called WebCrack, which is a really awesome tool for deobfuscating JavaScript. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you um, how I originally approached this problem and how I manually did things by inserting my own white space and uh, uh, building out strings from you know constant lookups. And uh, then I'm going to show uh, WebCrack and how it, within you know 30 seconds of crunching, produced a much nicer result. And uh, then at the end, we'll solve the challenge just so you can see it. So. Uh, Hopefully not, not too long, just a quick video to show off the value of WebCrack. Um, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so in order to look at WebCrack, we're going to start with this challenge from the Flare on 2024 challenge. It was the fourth challenge. Uh, it was called, uh, what was it called? Meme, I, no, I already forgot what it was called. Something like Meme Maker 3000 or something. And uh, I've got, it, they give you just this HTML file, and so we're going to start with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up VS Code. It's just kind of the easiest way to take a look at a large file like that. I'll say trust the authors. Uh, let's see. Um, I need to make this bigger. There we go. So even one of one of one of the things I love about looking at files like this in VS Code is the the side view here. You can instantly see. Okay, so there's some stuff here. Like, oh look, it's the style. Cool. Okay. Um, you can probably even collapse this. Let's see. I collapse the style. I can collapse the whole head. I've got a body here with some stuff. Not a lot of stuff. And then there's this script. So, and this script is. You can see on the side view is huge. Um, so there's a ton of stuff going on here. And you can, oh, look at this. As we're scrolling down, you can see, okay, so it's all kind of the same AOP something something plus. And then we come down here, all of a sudden you can see right here uh, the structure change. And I can't tell what's happening, but I can at least say, oh, there's definitely something interesting going on there. I might want to like peek at what, what that is. And oh, look, now here I am at um, these just string values. They all seem to be roughly the same size. Uh, let's see, we start here. So it looks like we have a function AOA, which sets a constant U to be this thing. May or may not be relevant, but just kind of neat that you can pick that out so easily in this side view. Uh, and we scroll down some more to the very bottom. And I think we're gonna get something. So down here, right at the very bottom, see we can see some code is, it, it looks more like code. It, well, it looks like it's a change again. We don't, and so here's this right here is probably the interesting stuff. Um, throughout the rest of this, you know, throughout all of this, here's probably the function I want to start with, because I got these two huge buffers of things, uh, but then I really want to pay attention to like what is actually happening down here at the bottom. Um, and so the point of this is, I'm going to show you how I manually approach this, and I'm probably going to do some pausing the video to be like, all right, let me go put a bunch of white space in, because it, it takes a few minutes, and it's not really interesting to watch me. Um, but then I'm going to show you, like, okay, so we manually got it, we got it to this good, now let's run WebCrack and show what in 30 seconds we can get. So um, cool, so let's take a look. Um, Really, the first thing I do when I get to something like this, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. Oops, lost my, my scroll. My scroll wheel is not working very well. Let's see. Um, OK, here we go. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go all the way up to the top here so if I can go ahead and grab this, grab this script. And I want to put it in its own file. So I'm going to go Shift and click. I'm going to get this. I'm going to paste in here. Um, <laughs> show 2.3 megabytes more. So it's, again, just one huge long line. Uh, and I'm going to save this, Control S, and we're going to call it um, meme. Let's see, what? Where are we here? What? Are, why is it all files not showing up? That's weird. Uh, we'll call it uh, meme maker 3000.js. And now that it's .js, you can do syntax highlighting potentially. Let's see if it's got yes. So there's some syntax highlighting coming here, um, and there's some stuff going on here at the top. Uh, now the next thing I want to do. Be a little bit careful about this. I'm going to go ahead and do a copy of meme maker 3000.js to meme, meme maker 3000 mod.js. And I'm just keeping myself a copy of the, whole, of the original file. And I wanted to start with this stuff at the bottom. So let's come down to the bottom here. There we go. And I'm going to just start putting some space in. So we already know we, we've got this, we're defining a function here. Um, anytime I see a, a semicolon, I can probably add a space. Um, you know, here's this. AOA function, not nothing too exciting there. We're going to return that. And actually, you can see here, this is the end of the function that was starting at the beginning, right before this huge list of strings. So that's a good place to say, OK, I'm probably interested in up to that point. Um, now I can say here, uh, every time I see, I could I could do a control F. In fact, maybe I'll do that. I'll say uh, control F, uh, find semicolon, and then I'll come here and I'll say replace that with semicolon. And I think it's alt enter. Nope. Uh, shift enter. Yeah. 
And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to kind of click through real quickly here so I can get. I don't want to do all because I don't want to hit all 46, but I want to go kind of this back bit of the function. So I'm kind of just clicking through to get all these. And that looks good. OK, so we made some progress. Um, I might, oh, shoot. I might take a little, I might pause the video for a moment here and do a little bit more cleanup just so I can get to a place where um, it's legible. And again, watching me have white space is not that interesting. So be right back. All right, so I'm back and let's take a look at what I've done here. Um, if I page up here a little bit, um, there's some interesting stuff going on here. I, I really think the interesting part and what we're going to focus on here is this AOK function. Um, and we can start to see a bunch of patterns. Um, one thing we're starting to see throughout this is uh, AOP does, it seems to be building strings. In fact, one thing we can do, if we do uh, Firefox HTML, and we open this up, um, I guess I should have shown this at the beginning. Um, this is the HTML. And what we got here is um, we, can, we can pick different images here. Uh, and then if we remake just the, the strings change, and we see different things, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Inspect, and get a console. And I wonder if, I wonder if this is big enough that we can see it. Um, and the thing that was interesting to me was, what was it called? AOP. So let's, let's grab this right here. Actually, we can grab this. If we come here, we paste this in. Uh, great, get Ellie. Copy this, and we can come in and replace this with get Ellie. Um, probably mean that in strings. Um, and I mean, I can already tell this one's going to be like meant by ID, or something like that. Meant by, yep. So we can make this uh, meant by, and there's ID. And this is caption one. So right here, we, we can start to go through and set up these strings. Um, this one right here, it looks like exactly the same thing. So we can do this again. And maybe get rid of this. And here's this one is just get element by ID. Perfect. Um, and so, OK, so what is this one? This, here's another one. Uh, we could do this again throughout really the whole thing. Um, get, you know, start to clean this up. And it's not too time intensive, but it's like yeah, taking some time, right? Um, and what I really get down to is this function a OK. And there's some checks going on in here. Um, we can see t is AOP. So we could do uh, AOP of this one right here. And again, I won't do too many more of these, but like for the sake of you know, alt uh, here and say alt string that uh, split on there and 7, 7e8. 7e8 pop. Sweet. So we got a, we have a, so we're going to get. Uh, alt split, we're going to get AOG of alt split by a splash and get the top item. Um, I don't know if we can get what AOG of alt is. Here, we grab this. And again, just the, this is where, you know, this is so useful. So two buttons at JPG. I wonder if I change this. So if I change it to Doge. So it's AOG alt is going to give me the current picture name. And then I'm going to split that on the splash. Oh, there's no slash, it looks like, um, and pop. So I guess we can, we could try grabbing this whole thing, for example. That we get. Um, so we're going to get the image name of the current image. Um, and so we can start to work through this. Um, and I'm getting to the point now where you can see there's a bunch more of these T things are all just strings I got to fill out. Um, I can do that. Here. But but I don't need to. And that's what's cool. That's, that's what I want to show. So um, now that we have a feel for this challenge and what we're going to do, um, I can sort of paste in. So when I, when I manually did this um, originally while solving this challenge, uh, my AOK function is like this. Uh, just magically becomes this. So we have, we're getting the current pick. Um, we're checking here to see if it's the boyfriend zero dot JPG. Uh, if not, we return and there's some ch other checks and we can start to work through and solve. Cool. Okay. We know we've done enough of menus. So web crack. Uh, let's open a new window here. Uh, I can install this with uh, you know, something that looks like this. Oops. Not with this initial. Uh, maybe might need a sudo to do the global. Um, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to bother with it, but I can install it. Now that I've got it installed, I can do web crack, crack, and we'll say uh, what was what did I call it? Meme dot three thousand to me, and we'll save that to web crack dot js. And this is gonna run for a second, right? So it has, it's doing it's doing some transforming things, and it's gonna deobfuscate. And there's a couple different levels of deobfuscation it's gonna go through. Um, but you know, again, this takes a few seconds, and we're done. So let's go back here and see if we can find our new, here's our webcrack.js. And you can see right at the top, you remember this uh, AOC thing with a long line of kind of different strings? We've already defined uh, these strings. It's a sort of 
made them for us. And there's this, so we can tell AOC is the strings that get put over the uh, meme. Uh, we've got sort of the locations for the, in AOV for where the strings go. Um, we actually, it looks like we actually have the raw images here in AOE. So you can see dodge, doge, doge, doge one.png, and then here's the actual base64. And so that's probably what takes up most of the space. I wonder if we can, is this collapsible? Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, so we can just collapse that. And look up, whoa, look how short our, our uh, and we collapsed those and the entire thing got real short. Um, so here is AOF. We're going to, you know, this is, looks like, I think this might be the function that's actually setting the, uh, Things. We're going to skip through that for a minute by now. Um, oh, here's calls AOF. It's doing some stuff. Um, but I want to go back to this AOK function, right? So we've sort of already looked at this. But so here it is. We're going to get AOG.alt split pop. So this is what's going to get the current file. We already saw that. Uh, if object keys AOE5. So let's let's check out what that is. So we still have our, I think we still have our console window open. Uh, that is the boyfriend 0.jpg. So we can pick up the distracted boyfriend one. That looks good. Uh, let's see. We have a way to get the current one. Yep, boyfriend. So now we're in a state where the this const a is going to be equal to that. And if it's not, this one returns. So we've passed the first check. Um, and then uh, so b, c, and d are going to be getting text content off of three things. If we want to see, well, what are those? We could say, oh, okay, security through. So it's the first, it's the first one. So basically, we're going to get the three things, the three uh, things, security expert, and this next one's going to be if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, yep. And so you know, now we're going to say if index, if AOC, which we remember from the thing up top, is the list of strings, so AOC index of B has to be 14. So basically what we're saying is we need AOC be the 14th one. Um, so what does that mean? Like, what, okay, uh, maybe we could, you know, it looks like it's kind of randomly getting set, but what if we, um, what if we set? So what if we say, uh, let's see, this is B, so we're going to say this. We can say this. Uh, dot text content equals, and what do we have to set it to? Uh, AOC 14. AOC, is that hex? No, 14. Boom, flare on, sweet. And so the next one, we need AOC, the next one, so that's this one, dot text content, is going to be equal to, and we're going to have AOC of length minus one, we'll do uh, AOC of that, and flare on. So the security expert is looking at flare on. And uh, index of D22, so this one needs to be 22. Copy that. That equals AOC22. Uh, malware. Sweet. So this is the security expert, like, distracted doing flare on instead of doing malware. Um, now, that check should pass. So we want to, we, you know, we can, dump, in fact, we can dump a lot of this stuff into the console and figure it out. Um, we have an alert down here, uh, A to B. So this is some base 64. I guess I can grab this and go over to a terminal. Uh, echo that uh, into base 64. Uh, let's try that D. And congratulations, here you go. So that's going to be the flag, almost, almost assuredly. Uh, and it's going to be with F. So this right here is going to be the actual flag. And, uh, you know, let's just run the AOK -OK function. So if we do AOK -OK and run it, um, there is, let's see, somewhere here, while new, you know, we're going to sleep for three seconds, basically. Um, and then, boom, we got the flag. So, um, this wasn't meant to just be like, hey, look at Flare on uh, 2024 Challenge 4, but like, how much cooler is this output that came out of WebCrack that I got basically for free instantly, you know, within 30 seconds, compared to like this, where I still have to go through and start to figure out what some of this stuff does. Um, it's not in bad shape. I got I got this in pretty good shape, but it you know, took me some time to build it out. And it was kind of annoying and it's error prone. Like if I made a typo in here, uh, I copy pasted wrong, if I grabbed the wrong string, uh, versus WebCrack just does it for me all programmatically. So. Um, that's it. Quick video just to look at the value of WebCrack and how cool it is. And uh, if you're running into JavaScript stuff, obfuscated, like real malware using obfuscated JavaScript or um, DTF challenges, like check out WebCrack. It's worth it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll talk to you next time.